Okay. So, welcome back to Satisfactory. Last time, we kind of went through the tutorial a little bit. Uh, I don't quite remember if we did Tier 1. Pretty sure we didn't. I've kind of adjusted the audio a little bit as well, just in case. But I may turn it down just a hair bit more. Just to see, that way you guys can hear me instead of having the music blaring and all that. But, we're going to continue from our last game. So we had just gone through the tutorial, and I believe, if memory serves, we are on Tier 1 or Tier 2. I know we have access to both, but we're just getting from the ground up. So, we'll see how this goes. I'm not sure how often I'm going to be posting videos as well, so if it's every so often, maybe a week or every other week, I'm going to aim for that. But if not, then we'll see. Okay. Oh, I should check these as well. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we're going to refuel these a little bit. I think we can make biomass. Maybe. I kinda hope. Yes. Okay, perfect. So you can actually start having power last a little longer. I tend to get a lot of traffic as well sometimes, so if you hear the cars going by, that's that's that. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of these extra leaves and the spare wood. Go in here and actually do this to do that. And that's the spare we have. We'll go ahead and do some more. There we go. Okay. So let's see, we've got copper plating. We don't have a thing for limestone, so we should try and get that going. So, we're gonna need one of these. We're gonna need one of these. And we're gonna need one of these. I like that they have a little queue system for, or well, not really a queue, but like a checklist sort of thing. Let you know what you need and all that for materials. So let's see, let's grab some iron plating. Where's this rod? Nope, plating, perfect. This should be rods. Awesome. Okay. Normally I would go with logistics right off the bat, but sometimes you need other things in order to really start getting off the ground. If any of my wording is loose, sometimes it's not coherent at all, so, uh, yeah. Let's see, let's make some ingots. We're gonna need two of those reinforced iron plates, which we can get from just making some screws real quick. 12 screw ratio for every iron, reinforced iron plate. I need to make a portable miner. Do I have... I have that, but do I have the equipment workbench over here? Do not. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna build this over here for the time being. Uh, here we go. Equipment workbench. We'll put you right over here. That way you're out of the way. Boom. And we'll put a craft bench as well, just in case. of these. Wow. Good deal. Okay. And we need concrete, so we're gonna get 30 of these, and then we'll have 10 concrete. Actually, it'd probably be better if I do this. Yeah. So while that's digging, we'll make a bunch more of these portable miners. Because it can't hurt to have more of these until we get a drill going.
Oops, let's just do those. This thing has some extra concrete. There we go. Now we'll do another one of these. Good deal. Good deal. So when we go to place the drill, we'll move these little guys over a little bit. Because at first it'll be slow. Slow pickings for uh, getting concrete. But, but just about have it here. Just need two more, one more, and bam, there we go. Alright. Let's make some concrete. Also, this game is coming to Steam on June 8th, as far as Coffee Steam Studios has predicted. Well, posted, I should say. They've posted a couple updates on this. Can I pick you up? Oh, no. Wrong room. But be on the lookout, because, yeah, the game's pretty fun overall. And the fact that they're bringing it to Steam is also kind of nice. Let's see, we'll move you in here. How are we doing on biomass real quick? Okay, good. So we're still good on that. I haven't had to upgrade it yet, so that's really good. Okay, mark one. Put you in. We now need a constructor. How far is this machine? Okay, we're gonna need another biomass bar. That's fine. Constructor. We'll put it, you know what? We'll do that, actually. I don't have access to the chainsaw just yet, but... Oh, there we go. And then I can just bring the storage container here. Uh, right about there is fine. Okay, so let's see. Work. Perfect, and you should go in here. Good deal. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be a little crooked at first, but when we get enough concrete going, we'll be better off with it. I need power. Biomass burner. Let's get some extra cable. Well, we're gonna need cable and we're gonna need wire. But it's good to have this for now. Good deal. Make some cable out of this. Like I mentioned in the last video, they didn't have a crouch feature at first, but with it, it gives you a lot of faster movement. And then later on, when we find some more powerful materials, we'll be able to upgrade our movement a little bit. Carry about 50 on us. Okay. Uh, over here. We'll place this one biomass burn right here. Right about there should do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make concrete for that. That's fine. Get some extra concrete. Can't hurt to have concrete. Okie dokie. So now we got the concrete. I'm going to take this pull out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a pull here. Two, three, and then we're gonna have another pole come right here. It's gonna hook up to that, and we're gonna hook this to here. There we go. So now, what should we have? We got 120, it'll work for now. But now we've got this, and then we need to have a section for that. So, two machines, three space. That's filled, so we'll just put a pole here. And you're gonna make limestone. It's a concrete stone. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we'll go ahead and already put some limestone in here, because when it starts funneling it, it'll just start making. So we're good on that front for now. Um, so yeah, we need a bunch more materials get our base buildings going. And just like that, we'll put the Blech. we'll put that part in there. A little separate stack. So we have a pure stack of a hundred. Same thing with this. 
have that, and while this is going, we'll need to gather more leaves and wood for biomass. So let's go ahead and dump these in here. And while I'm here, I'm going to put the Caterium in there. Okay, let's go gather some more leaves and such. I should really have my Xenozyper just in case. Alright. So a lot of segments might be just gathering leaves and uh, wood for all intents and purposes so we can keep power going. Once we get into more biodegradable fuel alternatives, then it will be a bit more, I guess, planned out. Because with how the later sections can be, I had to check and see if I was going to want to go there. Uh, how the later section is going to be, it's, it can be problematic. Coal originally just used to be, you know, here's coal, you don't have to worry about water. Water was a new implementation they had. Ow. I'm not as happy, boy. There we go. Look at that. So yeah, you need water for coal to keep it going, which is hydroplaning and... Or just hydro works, because I keep calling it other things, and it just helps me remember. Uh, let's see, we'll keep going out this way and see what we can find. It's a big deposit of limestone in it. Yep. I'll go ahead and gather this, because there's a lot of limestone just sitting here. I already see two sl three slugs, maybe. Nice. We're gonna need those two when we unlock the uh, overclocking. Oops, there's another source of limestone. The only time I've ever come across pure limestone is on those little small notes. Every other time it's been uh, shorthanded. Come here, you. We'll find a lot of those guys wandering around. I think that's more Caterium, actually, right there. Might as well grab this too. Oh no, it's sulfur. Let's grab that. Data shows this is a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. Sweet. So now we have another form of material that. We won't be able to find it right off the bat, but getting lucky notes like that is kind of good. It's kind of good. I'm not sure if there's random seed generation for this, like how with uh, Minecraft you can implement different codes and get different layouts for levels and whatnot, but I'm not sure if this has this. If it does, I've yet to find the feature for it. There is something shooting at me. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yes. Come here. Gotcha. Okay, let's swap over to the berries. These pale, pale berries give you a lot of health. One node per. Barrel nuts only give you half a node. Well, let's go ahead and put the zoom zipper back on. There's more slugs over there. We'll see if we can pick this one up at least. Maybe, if not, we'll have to come back for it. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, we got it. That right, one slug. There's another one I saw. That one over there. That one there. There's a couple we can grab. I just stream for an hour today. See how it goes. Oh, maybe an hour and a half, depending. So I can get easily lost in this game. A lot of stuff. Times I haven't been recording this, uh, well, not as recent, but 
when I would play this a lot and start new worlds, I'd get lost in this for about maybe three or four hours, so... Uh, I could consider doing segments like that, just do it live, but I figure just starting out like this is a bit easier. Okay, so slugs up there. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we'll have to build platforms probably to get up there. Um, how much space we got? We're going to leave count. Let's go over this way and just see what's over here. I get a f general layout of our uh, territory. Oh, there's a slug over there. Go ahead and grab that. Also, if you do see the frame kind of stutter a bit, it's not my rig. It's the game for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Sometimes it has performance issues. Sometimes. Not always. Uh, that one... Okay. Ow! There. there. Flashlight. Thank God our helmets come with that. Okay, lost without it. Okay, so we can't get to that one. We could pro probably get to that one. Yeah, we just go over here and grab it. And we'll head back to the base. Because by then the limestone should still be gone. Won't be as much, but at least grab what we can off of it. Perfect. We got a few slugs. Grab some of these. Grab some of these. Some wood. Alright. Grab these two run out. Wood gives you a bigger yield of uh, biomass compared to leaves. It's kind of weird. The ratios are there. If you're any popping, it's my job. Probably said that in the last video, but. Just for future reference, I suppose. There go the cars again. Okay, so, grab this. We'll make our way back over. By the time we get there, the gen one generator might run out of fuel, so I'll have to stock that. There's also a slug up there. Get the flashlight off. Okay, so we'll go over here and we'll start converting this into biomass. Eventually we can build a machine that'll just convert leaves and wood into biomass and then that into better fuel. But for right now, this will work. Now I'm pretty sure leaves have a smaller output, but and I could be wrong on that. Do that. Perfect. Storage. Now I have the one, so let's go ahead and grab the roll. I almost call them rolls. The rods and the uh, plate. I can make rods out of this extra. Uh, we don't need this leftover stack. I'm going to get rid of this one. Some rods. Perfect. Okay, so storage container. For right now, it's just gonna sit right next to the base. We'll go ahead and start putting the biomass in there for the time being. So we'll see. This might give a lot of biomass. I'm not sure. With how much we've collected, it, it's. It's a slower way of getting biomass, is what I should say. Because you can only hold up to a stack of 200 per biomass bundle. So chances are that we may have a lot more, because it does indicate how much you can get from the yield. So here we go. Okay, roughly 700 or so. There we go, 750. We'll put this in here. Perfect. Put 
slug in there. Okay, this is limestone, so we'll just craft that real quick. We need a lot of concrete for this. So hopefully my cursor's not showing up as well. I saw the last video that it tended it stuck out like a sore thumb a little bit. So I decided to just do away with it and see if it doesn't show up. If it does, it does. It's no real big deal. But just trying to make things a bit more fluid is all. There we go. Yeah. Oh wow. We actually have close to our amount. Which is really nice. So let's go ahead and put our 174 in there. We just need 26. So we'll go ahead and gather. It's going to take a little bit. That's one. Let's see. Well, I got like three. This is four out of it. This is five. I need 21. That's fine. Should be like 42 pieces of limestone, roughly, to make the rest that we need. Uh, we'll do this as it drills. Because that way we can build up our, our uh, supply of limestone. Eventually, when we start overclocking, we'll have a faster yield gain for it. I have to say that when I first found out about this game, I was blown away by it, because I was skeptical a bit, but on the same hand, it looked really awesome, and I wanted to dive head first into it. There we go, 42. So this should be enough to get what we need, if not, I'll need to dig up some more. 14. Nope, I miscalculated. That's okay. Should be able to get some from here. Pick up the slack. Perfect, we got enough. Alright, here we go. We now have base buildings. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Whoa! All right, so I'll return in about two minutes or so. so we're going to go ahead and do logistics for the next one. So we can already can't really do that. So we're just going to go ahead and grab what materials we can and see if we can do logistics at the same time. Plenty there. We'll put the 178 in there. Praise the Stingray God. He was off in the distance. You have to praise him. So I tell one of my friends, it's like, every time we do this, you need to praise him. If you do not, he will get very upset. Of course, he won't come down and swoop at you, but, you know, it's just it's just something we do. Split the stack. Right, and we got everything for the next one. So we're good on that front. Just gotta wait for the pod to come back and we'll have that. What are we doing on this? 83, 74. Okay. That's fine. I'll start using a bit more power. Some in the early stages, most of it's just waiting around for your basic machinery to start working. But once we get a bit further, we'll be good. Praise the Stingray God! There was a way to taunt in this. Oh, here we go. Praise. One more time. Praise. Look at him in a majestic beauty. There he goes. Okay, so the pot is back. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. And we're gonna go ahead and dump all this in. And boom! Now the next one. Milestone reached. 
Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. May hear my fingers. We encourage you to yeah. consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Sweet. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Awesome. Okay. So what I was going to say was, you may hear my fingers crack every so often. I just done a lockup, so I got to flex them a little bit just to get their joints going. Um, okay, so now that we have that, we can actually get rid of this. We can get rid of this. Get rid of this. And we can do this. Okay, so these two are going to funnel because if we have the correct thing... Yep, here we go. Splitters and mergers. Alright, so we're going to do a merger. Let's see, I need to be able to know how far this goes. Okay, so we'll do this. And we'll put it right here. For right now, it's going to look a little wonky. But, on the same token... So we only have the two nodes going. And now... If I can get up here. There we go. Storage. There. For right now. There we go. So now, we have plates and rods going into one container. Put this in here. Put that in there. Good deal. Okay. So we got two minutes until the pod comes back. Now what I can do is actually split that off into doing a separate one for cable, but I won't do that until a bit later. Because we'll need more cable at some point. So, next milestone. Field research. Go ahead and do that. Now, what I can do, because we have a spare node I think, yeah, we do. We have a spare node. Um, I could convert it and do that. So let's do that. Move that this pile up a bit. Okay. So you guys are going to do that. I'm going to grab... Uh, I'm going to grab a portable... Because what we're going to do with everything that we have is we're going to do. Oop, not that. Not that. We need more concrete. Okay, good thing we have a thing making concrete. There we go. Praise the stingray god. If he's not close, we'll, we'll let him be. We won't have to give him praise. Okay, uh, we need a smelter. Is this lined up with that one? Right there. See, that should work. Yep. Okay, this is going to be a lot more power, so I don't know if we need to add another one of these in. I need a craft bench. Always carry a craft bench, or at least the materials for it on you. I'm gonna need two of these, so let's get more screws. There we go. And bingo bongo. We now have our constructor. Make two of these. This needs to be one, two. You're gonna make iron rod and you're gonna make screws. Okay, so now, with 
it like this. Logistics merger. fully connected just yet as I want to get the screws going a bit. I can. Okay. So that it's four machines, so we're gonna need another hole down there. Okay, so what's our seventy? This Oh shit, not that, not that. Okay. So, 70 power. Uses 5, 4, and 4, 8. 13, 17 in total. 17 plus our current was about 65, so we're good. Oh, I never selected this for ingots. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so this should be making just about everything we need. So this should be going up. Yep, and 61. And then with that going, we should be at 65, right? Or now. Mm, 60. Okay, so. Five less, actually. That's that's good. That's really good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start connecting this up. Once these screws get in, we'll, uh, we'll do this. Okay, and in you go. There we go. So now they'll all be going in together. And then eventually we'll hook that up as well with a conveyor lift. Make 300 screws by hand while that's pumping. Okay, so as far as it stands currently, we've gotten a good amount of things done for Tier 1. We'll be able to move to Tier 2 by the end of this, probably. Sometimes I don't really know what to talk about when it comes to just Aaron thoughts. But I do apologize for the empty spaces in there. Well, I'm set our screw mark though, so won't be too dreadful. And there we go. Let's grab our extra for the copper. Put that back. There we go. So now we have everything for this. This should wrap up tier one, I believe. But we'll see. There we go. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Oh sweet, so you make scanners, yeah. beacons. The object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Gotcha. Okay, so now that we have the MAM, we can actually 
We can make five reinforced. I think I can do that real quick. I should be able to. If not, I'll come close and then it'll have it. There we go. I'll probably rearrange some things at some point. So that way it's more congruent, I guess. Be the word for it. There we go. Alright, there's our ma'am. So this building actually used to be in here. You usually sit right here. It's kind of condensed a bit more. This is where you would do all the research. So, take a look at it. Right now we only have so many tr uh, trees unlocked. Uh, but for right now, we can actually do some of this. New recipe unlocked. So now we can do, I believe... New research available Biomass. on the map. And now we can do this one. Same thing. The carapace can be made into biomass. We need ten of the carapace though. Which we have nine. And we need about one more. Let's see, let's just check the tiers real quick. Yep, tier one is complete. That was our goal for today. Uh, let's see if I can find one more creature and kick its ass. But we're looking for a fluffy-tailed hog, because those give carapaces. Everything else seems to give organs, which I'm not sure why. And you can harvest organs from a fluffy-tailed hog too, but I guess the more productive thing is uh, the carapace. Getting armor and whatnot. Got these berries needed. Need for science. Should be a fluffy tail hog around here somewhere, maybe. Oh, nope. I stand corrected. That is more organs, which can't go wrong with organs. If you're an organ donor, hey, look, we got organs. No. Nope, you are not. Hit me. I'm you. Slap you. Like that. Nope. And... Ooh. There we go. Let's see, what do we got here? Barrel nuts. I'll pick up some iron ore. Can't hurt to have some spare just in case. There we go. And we've got more barrel nuts here. God, why is it hard to find a fluffy tail hog? That, I believe, is quartz up there. There's a Sam ore. Well, Sam ore. So another thing they have in here is uh, alien materials. And there's no real purpose for them yet. But I figure it's someday, someday they'll incorporate them. If it's with the Steam launch, that'd be... That'd be pretty tight, but I'm not gonna really hold my breath on that. Because it's... They got a lot on their plate. They do. And it's good, because it means they're actively working on this and making it the game that it should be. Oh, here we go. This is what we want. Fluffy tail dogs. Two of them. Sweet. Therapist. Where's your friend? What? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Yay! Zappy Zappy. Nope, come back here. I followed you. Okay, just grab some extra plant material. Plant material. Oh, another thing to note is that with the plants, like 
these and the barrel nuts and paleberry, they do not respawn when you load back in. So you want to make the most of them when you need to. He's probably going to pick a fight. Yep, you're going to pick a fight. How dare you have accuracy. Zap you. Zappy, zappy. Hey. Ooh, you're close to dying. There he is. Okay. So if I wait long enough, that should go back up to three bar. For health. And then I can heal more. Well, uh, before I even do that, I'm going to use the fruit and nuts that I've collected for some research. The more research you do, the more things you can unlock, and yeah, it's really nice. You invest a lot of hours in this, by the way, it's, it's crazy. Like for me, most games are, I wouldn't say stressful, they're more interactive to where it keeps your attention going. If you need like a game that's relaxing, there's a bunch out there, like Minecraft and others. I would definitely recommend this because there's not a lot of combat, even though they label this as a first person shooter. But on the same token, some of it can be really relaxing. Like factory building, for instance, when you're building foundations. Some thought has to be put into it for however you want to design your factory. But the same token, it's like, you don't have to worry about losing a lot of resources because you're gaining a lot at the same time. Let's grab all these. I guess something I could do... Yeah, I could do it for this. I can set up a thing for it. I don't know if I'll have enough resources to do it exactly, but... I'm gonna need a couple of these. Probably two. Be, we can actually connect another pole to it. Three of four. We'll go ahead and put this right there. We'll put you over there. Okay. So, something with this. What I. Okay, my wording. Uh, one thing I did mention before was the machine that can convert biomass. It's not hard to set up, it's just you have to regulate your power a bit if you're going to have that sustained enough. Because there's a lot of things that can go with it. Let's go ahead and do the alien organisms real quick. Start the research. Took a ton of those just to do it. So now we have that. We have Caterium as well, which I can just pop right in. We'll unlock it early on, I think. Yep. We will scan for it. But usually it's way far out. New so resource it's, added to the resource scanner. It's hard to come across. Uh that one we can't do. This one we can do. Some of these only take like three seconds once you get all the materials. Can I lock a paint gun? This one we need the prior node nutrients. We can do the nuts. It'll take three minutes for that, or the berries, and then we can do the nuts for the same deal. Mushrooms are gonna be the hard thing to find. Uh, we, do, we need a lot more biomass. Okay, good thing we have this. Let's grab these. So as we get 
hire with more machines. There we go. I can sort this now. Uh, let's see. So we need. I do two of these. It's hard to do it in my head sometimes with this because if I'm going to do this, I need constructors. I need to convert the wood and leaves into biomass, and I need a third one that'll do the other. But I don't think I need the third just yet. So I don't think we have biofuel accessible. No. Okay. We'll just stick with the the two. So right now we will set this up as such. I'll need to build the extra things for this. Put it right about there. Okay. Need reinforced plate. We're just gonna require screws. Yep, yeah, we'll have just enough rods actually to make this, which is nice. And plate too, well. Wow. Okay, and then we need to make cable. We're gonna make all of what we have here into cable. Because then we can grab more if needed. is going to be needed because we need to have access to... There we go. To be able to lay down poles. So... This is going over here. Okay. So we need a constructor. Now, the thing with this is that this isn't going to be side by side, unfortunately. Which works, because we need to have enough room. Oh, right about there. Perfect. Put this, this, biomass wood. Biomass leaves, and then we'll need a merger. Need rods. We are hitting over the hour mark, it would appear, but it's okay. I will be wrapping this up shortly. This is roughly the last thing I'm going to do for today. Valid shape. Okay. So we'll just bring this out a little bit. Right about there. Perfect. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll get rid of this. Okay. We'll put that. If I keep the man there, that's fine. I can lose the equipment workbench over. There we go. And then let's get rid of as well. Oh, well, because we already have a craft bench here. In the case that I do get someone to hop on and join the series, I will always have a workbench on. Right about there. So 
Let's see, we want this. Or do we want it to do something different? Just too much on the details with this for now. Just to make sure it works as well. Anyway, yeah, it's gonna bend. Um, I can do this way. There. So this should work. It'll work. Okay. So, these two machines are already queued up to make their residual products. So all I need to do is put wood and leaves. Perfect. So now when we need wood and leaves, we can, oh right, uh, I need to put 200 here. And 200 here. There we go. So now we have a max of 100 some. Make sure this is about perfect. Okay, so this should make a lot of biomass. Yep, we're already getting some good deal. So that way, when we need biomass, we can just come right out and boom. And that's a bit of a tight squeeze, but that's fine. Uh, Okay, we're going on this one. New object added to the object scanner. Sulfur, we can actually research this real quick. Power slug, we can do the same deal. We can now make power shards. And scan. Overclocking just needs a little bit. Now, as you can see, we're getting a lot of rods, plate, and screws. Some plate, we got a rod bundle. This is for power silks. Yes, here we go. Five minutes on that. This will be the last thing I research, then we'll call it. Uh, how are we doing on the concrete? Ooh, nice. Not good so far. Okay, so... So, so far we have a sustainable factory that has about 130 megawatt capacity. And technically... I can get rid of these two. Because they only use so much. So yeah. 70, they don't really use a whole lot. One's on standby because we're out of wood. The other one, the other one's gonna plow through that a little bit. So yeah. Work from the ground up is what our aim is. Uh, I could get the other one going, but I'm gonna save that for another time. Funny thing is that the MAM doesn't need any power to have it do what it does. It's weird. But, speed up a little bit. Respawning does not give you full health as well. That's something to note. When you respawn, like if you're, if you die or you're stuck in a position and you need to get out of it, like you're caught between two boulders and you just physically can't get out of it. Um, respawning brings you back with three bars of health. Does not give you the full deal. There are items that can restore that health, which is really nice. I got these leaves real quick. And our touch-up stuff. That way we're prepped for next time. 
while we're doing this while we wait for the research to be done for overclocking. Overclocking is going to help us tremendously for our yield. Okay, some things do come back, like those nodes. Praise. Praise him. Uh, we had broken those in the last episode, so if they're unused and they had a node on there, it seems like they come back. So, either that or I didn't break them before. So I remember the copper being up here. So maybe I didn't break it? Oh, I probably didn't go that way. That would explain a lot. Yeah, because this is an area you can actually have a better grasp on things. Uh, we're just going to grab everything we can. Grab these. A lot of noise vehicles going by today. For a Saturday, even. Something. Is this slug? I don't think it's... No, I was playing tricks on me. But we'll grab the pale berry. Grab the sulfur that's out here. These nodes don't usually give a whole lot like that. And we'll grab these brown nuts too. Good to have a healthy supply of resources and medicinal items. Get a lot of leaves. Oh, wood though, surprisingly. But when we get the chainsaw, that'll, that'll be fixed, because we'll start getting a lot more wood. Like, way more wood out of trees and whatnot. So they give an ample supply of wood. Oh, we gotta fight this guy. Bonk. Okay. And then we'll just crack... Eh, we'll leave these for now. When we need the iron, we'll go and crack them. Alright. Oh, this does. I think we're pretty much good here. See how this is stacking up real quick. Good so far. Alright. Do one last glimpse. Check on this. Alright. Check the man. He's over here. Alright. Buildings can now be overclocked with the use of power shards. Awesome. It's going to help us a lot. So if we just take an example, we now have access to the bottom panel. So we can put shards in and boost it. We can boost our power and we can produce and we can boost how fast machines work. But for now, select the milestone and we'll sign out here. I want to thank you guys for joining me today on this wild ride of Satisfactory. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. This is Phantom Echo, signing off.